Hello everybody and welcome to Fancy Golem Games. Today we are making marble tiles, the perfect setting for your infiltrating party. Let's get started. Alright, so we're going to get started here by cutting out some of these squares. These are 4 inches by 4 inches, and they are made of your standard dollar store foam core. If you don't have access to that, you could also use some XPS foam. You could get away with cardboard, but I'd recommend against it. Now, if you've ever made dungeon tiles before, you're probably tempted to peel the paper off of the top of these. Don't. For this project, we are going to be leaving it on. Alright, so for your next step here, you're going to want to draw a 1 inch grid into each tile, like I've done with this one. And then you're going to want to start thinking about a pattern. Now, I like to keep it pretty simple, just 45 degree angles, that sort of thing. Uh, you can see I've done that with this one here. And then you're going to want to give some texture to that. This one I've done slightly already. You can do that with a rolled up ball of tin foil. Just roll it around, don't use the same side too many times. Uh, or you will start to see that pattern. And here you can see kind of what you're going for. Just a couple of dents, give it some texture. Nothing too much, not like a stone tile would be. So your next step is going to be to take a craft knife or exacto knife and just cut along those lines that you drew out. Just cut through each one and go about halfway through the foam. Uh, give or take, uh, don't cut all the way through the foam otherwise you'll end up where the foam will start to warp and if you get something like this where the corner is kind of flimsy or if you've cut too deep don't worry about it uh, we're about to fix that alright so next we're going to want to add some stability to our piece by cutting out this three and three quarter inch by three and three quarter inch piece of cardboard this is just cereal box cardboard and I've just glued it onto the back of the piece. This will help keep it from sliding, give it some weight, and just keep it from falling apart due to those cuts we made earlier. Okay, next you're going to want to take your piece and just take an old dried up pen and just run it through the grooves. This will widen them and make it look a little more like uh, actual tile, like you can see I've done here. Uh, and that really brings out some depth in the tile. And now on to painting. So the colors you're going to want are Warm White, Gray Storm, and Toffee, which is just a sort of tan color. I'm just using regular acrylic craft paints, nothing too fancy. For starters, we are using our heavily watered down white. Now you want this watered almost to the point where it starts pooling, not quite. We are going to do a 100% coverage layer of this. Uh, now if you have an issue with the water messing up the paper on the surface of your piece, just go ahead and apply a very thin layer of white glue to the piece before you start painting. I didn't do that on this piece and I kind of regretted it later. Now we're going to want to move relatively quickly because we want this white to be wet through the entire painting process. So we are going to use our toffee to do some light streaks, uh, just a little bit of water in with your paint and that should come out pretty nice. And then you're going to want to take a large brush that is bone dry, do not get this brush wet at all, and we are just going to blend that in using the sort of Bob Ross technique of little X patterns to hide the brush strokes, just blending that in. And then we are going to repeat that process with a even thinner brush and the gray. You're going to want to water this down as well. I actually didn't water mine down enough here, but it turned out all right. Just do even smaller streaks. Uh, you're going for sort of a vein sort of look or almost like lightning, although not quite as jagged. And then you're just going to blend that in as well. All right, so that wraps up part one of the marble tile. 
Uh, this was going to be one video, but I actually messed up the piece while I was working on it. Uh, yeah, you know how I said earlier to put a thin layer of white glue? Yeah, do that. It, it kind of really helps. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I plan to make plenty more of these, and thanks for watching.